unboxing the Tactrix Incorporated. Bought a, oh, it came in a nice little box. Tactrix Open Port 2.0. Uh, ordered this online, trying to uh, use it with PCM Flash to uh, read and write the chip in a 2020 Subaru Forester. Hopefully it works. Got our unit, cable, we got here. This looks like the cards so that we can email them and also look up uh, the manual of how to use it. Sadly, no instructions with it. So I guess we're going to have to look some stuff up on the internet and see how to do it on our own. Uh, it looks like it's got a, some type of port for a, like an SD card. Um, not sure what that port's going to be for. The center one's for the data cable connected to the computer. Um, yeah. Well. Not much there, but that's what you're going to get. I'll leave a link uh, in the description where I bought it. Um, kind of give you the lowdown on uh, if it works or not. If it does, we'll be making a video uh, of PCM Flash with the, the Tactrix. Um, cloning a 2020 Forcer ECM. All right, little add-on to our uh, Tatrix Open Port 2.0 unboxing. Um, I was able to locate this information about it, uh, so I thought I'd add that for you guys. Um, the headphone jack there is what that plug was that uh, we didn't know what exactly it was and what it was for. Um, evidently, you can put power voltage to this and it acts on pin 12 of this uh, once you plug that in then pin 12 in here is not active um, you'd be working with it from here you can also uh, plug this in to get data from your wideband sensor um, if you're logging Pretty cool little add-on that they did. Uh, I wasn't aware of that when I uh, purchased it, actually. Um, there's kind of a little little description here at the bottom of, of some stuff that it does. And here is some more. If you guys uh, want to read through that, kind of get a, a little better idea um, of what this thing does. I wasn't aware of uh, a lot of this stuff because I, I couldn't find anything really on it detailed like this, but I was able to uh, to find something. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and, and do uh, one of the installs on one of my laptops for the uh, ECM Flash, I believe they call it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Tatrix website. We're going to go to download, and it's called ECU Flash 1.44. We're going to go to download, and this works with uh, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Um, if you have anything newer than that, you'll have to install it on a uh, VMware uh, digital or a uh, sub windows um to be able to install it all 
yes. Next. I agree. Next. Install. And this, uh, this program here that we're installing has all the drivers included, I believe. Uh, so once this is installed, we should be able to uh, plug right in and have access to the actual USB box there. Um, if you want to install it for like uh, PCM Flash or uh, different software that isn't the official like ECU flash that they uh, intend it to be used with. You can download the, the driver here for that. Um, basically you just download this, install it on whatever computer has your uh, PCM flash software. Um, I believe KTM flashware is another like a the clone of it. Um, so you just install that driver on those computers and you just plug right in and it will pop up inside of the program um, as an option. Uh, and I can show you that once we're done with this. Uh, I need to install it on my other laptop that actually has PCM Flash um, because we're going to be using that to clone a Subaru Forester ECM. Next. Finish. We're going to pin that to the start menu and to the taskbar. Open it. It's right there's your icon there. this in, make sure it's good to go. Sorry, I'm doing this through the screen on my cell phone, so it's difficult to see what I'm doing sometimes. As you can see, it just popped up right there. <laughs> So it's, it's trying to read an ECM right now, um, but we can see that it did, uh, did accept it, it is installed, um, and here's the, the device. And this is not a clone, it's the actual uh, device from Tactrix, so uh, if you get a clone, a lot of times the the serial number is going to say like one, two, three, four, five, or just not even have one. Um, and I'm not sure if those even work with this ECU flash or not. Um, you can do a couple different things in here. I've never really used this software or uh, gone through it, so I'm not sure what all it does. Um, but this is the software that uh, is intended to go with the unit. Here's the vehicles that it uh, supports. Um, you can select any one of these. All right, got my other laptop here with PCM flash on it. Um, went to the site, downloaded the driver we just talked about. Um, Go here, right there. Scroll down, download 
download this right here. Um, once it's downloaded, go here to downloads, open file. Use. Pretty basic process. Um, just in installing a driver it goes pretty quick. It's done. Now we can plug in the Tetrix to the computer. What? See the little light came on. PCM flash. right there so we can then go down and select whatever we want to want to use um, looks like right now I have uh, module 80 selected yeah so and these are these are dark because I've bought the the module so I have the license for them if you haven't bought the the license and they're they're grayed out um i bought these the other day so that we can tune the 2020 uh forester or actually clone it we're not going to tune it we're just going to clone it over um and we needed to be able to read the flash and the eprom on that to make a one-to-one -one clone so uh stay tuned watch for the next video it's probably going to be uh cloning the subaru computer with PCM flash and the Tatrix cable.